What's up? Ladies and gentlemen, I am the eccentric gamer. I provide gaming news and gaming reviews while you guys, of course, provide the views. And finally, after months and months of Fallout fans going crazy, Bethesda locking down a press conference at E3 this year, what happened two days ago, technically at this point since it's 1222 by me, Bethesda changing their fallout.bethsoft.com website to a countdown on and then yesterday at 10 a.m. they finally revealed the debut trailer of Fallout 4. And to be quite honest with you, it's exactly what I was expecting. And I'm excited. I am really excited. And and to be quite honest with you, I'm kind of a, a used to be semi hater of Fallout to now being a fan of Fallout. My friend has been begging me to play the Fallout games and I tried Vegas in the past. It didn't really go well for me, basically. I only played for about an hour or two and basically I was like, fuck this. There was so many bugs and glitches and problems that I had with my version on the Xbox 360. And to be quite honest with you, I was always excited for Fallout 4 because I've always loved Fallout as a concept. The problem was for me is that I just couldn't get past the gameplay and the whole thing and all the bugs and glitches and stiff controls and the whole nine yard. But I'm basically a fresh fan from Fallout, and I'm excited for this game. I can't fucking wait for a next-gen Fallout. It looks pretty good. I, I like the idea behind it. I like this debut trailer. Obviously, right from the start, dogs. You, you get a dog companion in Fallout 4, hopefully. That, that's what it seems like to me, which is fucking awesome. Uh, I didn't play Call of Doggy, so I don't know how the dog AI worked in there. But I think with Fallout, that'd be kind of cool where the dog can basically check out areas, maybe pick up items for you, actually go fetch items for you and stuff like that, and bring it back to you so you can collect it. And also the dog can possibly help you out in, uh, in like combat situations and so on and so forth. Graphically, it's, it's not that impressive, but th it's basically what I was expecting from a next-gen Fallout game. And yeah, it's a new, it's a new Fallout. So I hope at E3 they'll show some actual gameplay of the f of the thing. I, I saw some people complaining about that that the debut trailer was an in-game engine trailer, similarly to the Star Wars Battlefront EA game trailer that they showed at the Star Wars Celebration, where they make a trailer in the game's engine, which is the the tech that they use to make the game but it's not actual gameplay, which I can kind of understand, but for a debut trailer, I'm fine with it. It's got some pretty interesting stuff here, and I can't wait to check out, hopefully, some gameplay that Bethesda's gonna show off at E3. And I'm curious what else Bethesda has up their, up their sleeve, because once again, like I said before, they have a press conference locked down. The first ever Bethesda doing a press conference at E3, so it's gonna be exciting to see what they have. So, Time to get excited, guys. Fallout 4 is here. So, until next time, I'm the Eccentric Gamer. I provide gaming reviews and gaming news such as this, while you guys, of course, provide the views. Thank you again. If you like this video, like, favorite, and subscribe. Please comment below if you have any thoughts and opinions on Fallout 4. Totally want to hear it. And I'll, I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.